did you know that you can make interactive dashboards inside of Claude Anthropic? Yeah, it's really cool. So the artifacts feature is one that we've really been enjoying here at Everyday AI. So give me about five to 10 minutes and I'm gonna show you some super useful ways that you can create some interactive data visual visualizations within Claude Artifacts. All right, uh, excited. So let's just jump straight into it. If you're new here, my name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. Every single day we do a live stream podcast and newsletter helping everyday people learn and leverage generative AI. So this is part of our AI in five series where we do a daily quick tip tutorial uh, to show you how to use generative AI. So we're going to go ahead and look at this new feature uh, inside Claude called Artifacts. So uh, what we're going to be doing, the data that we're actually going to be working with is our YouTube data. So uh, if you're subscribed to this YouTube channel, well, number one, please do that. But this is the data that we're actually going to be working with. So keep this in mind. We have so much data nowadays and large language models are great at crunching it like ChatGPT, their new data analysis V2 is amazing. But where I think Claude is truly exceptional is in its ability to create interactive dashboards and data visualization. So that's what we're going to do. And we're just going to try these really just off the cuff. So this is unedited, uh, unscripted. I have some prompts kind of ready. Uh, so you don't have to watch me fumble through, uh, you know, trying to type these. So we're just going in and I'm going to show you kind of one by one, uh, the different prompts and our results. So here I'm just saying, using the artifacts feature, please make a basic visualization of this data attached in the spreadsheet. So right now I'm leaving it open to Claude in this new artifacts feature. And I'm gonna see what, if anything, it's going to give me to visualize. So something to keep in mind here, this is a ton of data. Even for a data like analyst, this is gonna take a lot of time to go through. There's, let's see, uh, I've used this once before, in a video, but there are more than 16,000 cells of data in here. So there's a ton of information about our different YouTube videos. So I'm leaving the first first one just open uh, to Claude. So let me go ahead and rearrange this video. So there's a lot of good, useful information here, but the left side is a little clunky. So one thing you can always do in Claude, which I really like uh, that a lot of people don't realize, is give it a simple command. Uh, so I'm going to say, uh, right now, I'm going to say, great, make it more visual and with a more stylish interface. And I'm going to say right now, the text is too crowded. All right. So that's another thing. I mean, we'll see how this works or if it works. But, you know, generally when working with artifacts, you can just keep going back and forth. Uh, you don't have to regenerate the whole thing or start over from scratch. You can just say, hey, this is pretty good. However, do this, right? I'd say the simple uh, little I guess, uh, edit there. I don't think this is going to turn out that well. If I really wanted to, uh, you know, refine that random, uh, one that it gave me, I would, but you'll see already in this first iteration. I mean, look at this version one it, chaos, right? Uh, not that good version two. When I gave it some feedback, super clean. And you'll see right there, it's interactive. Pretty cool already. I prefer this over this, even though I love spreadsheets. All right, let's go in. Let's try a couple. Uh, let's try a couple more here. So I'm now going to say, whoops, wrong one. Let's go ahead. So now I'm saying using Claude's artifacts feature, please create a minimalist dashboard with a dark mode interface. Display key metrics like uh, display key metric like views, likes, and subscribers in large bold numbers with subtle animations on hover. All right, so you'll see right away it says it can't do it. So uh, one thing that I don't know why Claude does this a lot. So I'm going to say, uh, I got this error. I'm going to say, please try, try this again in a way that it will work in Claude artifacts. All right. So sometimes I just give, uh, if there is an error and it's usually the same error, I should probably look that up and, uh, figure out why sometimes when you ask Claude artifacts to visualize something, it gives you a, th that standard error. It comes up pretty often. So again, I'm just trying simple things here, tried it again, and you'll see right here much better. I mean, this is pretty good. Uh, so one thing I'm going to try to run that kind of same refinement. Uh, so I'm going to say great, but please make it more visual and with a more stylish interface that I can interact with. All right. Again, simple, iterative 
prompting inside large language models is usually going to give you some great results, right? Which is, it's a little different for us to learn because generally when we're using search engines, it's one search. If it doesn't work, you start a new search from scratch. So we're not used to as humans, as business leaders, uh, trying to simply iterate on things, which doing it with data is really, really fun. Um, and it really shows you the capabilities of the data visualization of uh, Claude. So here we go. I asked for something a little more visual and I mean, I got it right. I have a detailed uh, breakdown and overview here. So pretty simple. I asked for some uh, simple modifications and it did it right. Uh, so let's go ahead and do another one here. Do you see how fast that last one was? I was still reading the prompt and it was already done. All right. So for this one, I'm saying, please create a slider that allows users to quote unquote travel through time and see how your channel metrics have changed. As you move the slider, the dashboard updates to show stats for that specific date. So this one might be kind of hard, right? Because again, 1600 or sorry, 16,000 uh, rows of, of data or cells of data. So I'm going to say, if this doesn't work, I'm already assuming this doesn't work. I'm going to say, please try it one more time. Uh, focusing on 20 major videos or dates. Okay, wait, this is pretty cool. So it might work. Let's see. All right. So right now, uh, okay. So now I have this time travel. It kind of, it looks like it borrowed from the dashboard before. So let's see uh, if this works. So this is today's date. So pretty cool that Claude, uh, figure that out right away. So I'm just going to hit, I don't know. Uh, let's go back. Oh, didn't work there. I'm going to refresh this. So let's see how this works. Okay. So it's actually bringing up a calendar interface uh, and then it kind of crashes. So I could probably get this to work if I wanted to. Let me just click one other date here. Let me click the first. All right. So it doesn't work. I could probably get it to work with a little, uh, a little finagling. All right. Let's try a couple more. And again, I just want you all to get uh, some some quick uh, ideas on different ways that you could use this uh, in your day to day. Right. Because there's we have so much uh, access to data. But even looking at this spreadsheet, I love I love formulas. I love spreadsheets. I love sorting and filtering. But this is too much data for me. So I love using uh, Claude to help me visualize this. And you'll see so far, I mean, it's pretty quick. And the first iterations are usable, right? They may not be great and it might require some simple reprompting, uh, but think of all of the ways that you could use uh, this artifacts and this uh, visualization to your advantage, to be able to pull uh, some quick insights out of there and to work with them. So, I mean, again, we got it right here. Jeez, look at this. Uh, I don't know if this is this will work. All right, this is this is pretty cool. So. Uh, this is essentially giving me an engagement ratio explorer where I can, uh, give different weight to different things, right? So I could say, okay, if everything is equal likes comments and shares, here's my most valuable vi videos. This is nuts. I actually love this, but let's say comments matter the most. Let's just say, all right. And then let's say likes don't matter that much. All right, and let's say shares matter a lot as well. So now you'll see already uh, it's adjusting in real time, right? Um, and I could probably, you know, do this and do this. And it's, I mean, you'll see right there, the videos look. So Spike Studios, number two, when I crank this, Perplexity AI goes to number two. So <laughs> super impressive. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm cheesing over here because this is so valuable and so powerful. All right, let's just go ahead and we'll try just one more. All right. So now I'm saying, uh, using Claude's artifacts feature, uh, please create a basic dashboard that shows my top YouTube videos based on views, impressions, comments, shares, and likes. And I'm saying focus on the top 10. One thing you'll notice, I'm constantly doing what's called a call or I'm calling or telling the model to use a specific mode. So I don't know why Claude, uh, so, so, you know, they just released this 3.5 Sonnet. They just released the artifacts for whatever reason, it kind of struggles using it every single time. So if I, if I were to say, please create 
essentially this same prompt without saying uh, using Claude's artifacts feature, it might get it, I don't know, three out of 10 times, where if, if I put that little call saying using Claude's artifact feature, it usually will get it like eight or nine times out of 10, uh, right? So uh, this one, again, this is pretty good. So I'm going to I'm gonna put in one little uh, refinement and I'm going to say, okay, so what I'm saying, I'm making it, an iteration on this. So I'm just saying, great, please make it more visual and with a more stylish interface. I want to interact with this data and be able to sort it, right? So uh, it gave me it did give me some ways to sort it, but again, all the the, the video titles were kind of bunched up. Uh, so we're just going to do this one more time. Again, y'all, simple iterations in your prompt based on what you see, right? Uh, the best results are always going to be when you start simple and kind of quote unquote talk with the model. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what this last one gives us. And then we're going to wrap up. And I really want... Uh, to hear from you in the comments, if you're still uh, watching, let me know what you think and let me know, uh, well, let me know what you want me to see uh, do next, right? Uh, a lot of great, okay, this is, this is cool. This is cool. So uh, I would guess if I made my screen a little bit bigger, it might help a little bit. Uh, there we go. I mean, this is great, right? So I can, uh, descending, ascending views, impressions comments. Again, uh, the text is a little jumbled here, but with some uh, feedback, I could get that working really well. Distribution of comments, same thing. Uh, super, super useful, right? Even in this chart, it looks like I can do, uh, maybe I can't. Uh, yeah, I can. I can do a little sorting. Super, man, this is good. This new Claude Artifacts feature, you have to check it out. I think it is super powerful. Also, hey, Anthropic, can we quit doing this? can barely on a paid plan you can barely use claude right uh come on we got to fix that anyways i hope this was helpful please go to your everydayai.com subscribe to this channel give this video a like if it was helpful but also let me know in the comments i do this all the time if you're still watching what do you want to see uh do you want to see a comparison do you want to see more out of claude Ar uh, artifacts 3.5 gpt 4.0 mid journey runway what do you want to see let me know hope this is helpful we'll see you back for another ai in 12 thanks y'all